radio listeners, you can go to InfoWars.com or PrisonPlanet.com and go to the Flu Information Archive. All the articles I'm about to cover and more are posted there. Do not believe a word I say. Verify everything for yourself so you'll know that we're telling you the truth. Here are just some of the headlines. Berlin doctors worried they could have to pay compensation for swine flu jab damage. By the way, it's been all over the German news that their military and their government officials get a swine flu shot that does not have any of the additives or mercury in it, and it's not a flu, a live flu virus in it. Young child with asthma given flu mist H1N1 vaccine at school against parents' wishes. We have the newscast on that. That's coming up in a few minutes. DHS sets guidelines for possible swine flu quarantines. This is from April 28th of this year. Under Executive Order 13375, lockdown of cities, mass quarantines, forced inoculations. Read the executive order for yourself. That is what Obama is implementing with this national emergency. That does not mean they'll actually carry this out. But they've loaded the gun. They've chambered around with martial law. Will they pull the trigger? Your response is being studied to see if you'll go along with this. The good news is over 70% of Americans in major polls, over 60% of doctors and medical workers and nurses all over the news are saying no. They tried to make it mandatory in New York. They sued the medical workers and doctors did and got that defeated. So this is a, an attempt by the establishment to forcibly inject us, and the people worldwide are saying no. For anyone that is doubting what's happening, you can go to any Walgreens or major pharmacy, Walmart, you name it, and ask not for their information sheet. They're all printing up these fake sheets that say there's no bad reactions, no problems, there's no mercury. The New York Times has a public school program nationwide. We've covered this at PrisonPlanet.com where they say, oh, we're, we're, we're exposing the myths. It can't give you Guillain-Barre neurological disorders. It can't sterilize you. It doesn't have mercury. It can't give you cancer. When the inserts, and here's a shot of it for people watching at PrisonPlanet.tv, there it is from the H1N1 vaccine handout, mercury, and it goes on. You can go to FDA.gov, FDA.gov, FDA, the letter F, the letter D, the letter A, dot gov, and read the five major injectable flu vaccines and the one nasal spray vaccine. They're all the same, except the nasal spray says it can mutate it and breed it even faster in the nasal cavity and can kill you, maim you, or allow you to spread it. This is from Norvitus Vaccine Diagnostics Limited, September 2009, Influenza A, H1N1 2009 vaccine insert. On the first page, Guillain-Barre syndrome has occurred within six weeks of recipient of this influenza vaccine. That's page one. Page two. It goes on to talk about that it is not safe for pregnant women, nursing mothers, and children less than four years of age. Antibody responses to the seasonal influenza vaccine manufactured by Vornavitis were lower in the geriatric population than younger sus subjects. Warnings and precautions. That's in the glossary. Section 5 through 5. Point four, adverse reaction, 6.1 through 6.3. Drug interaction, 7.1 through 7.2. You need to go read this for yourself. Warnings and precautions. Altered immunocompetence can mess up your immune system. 5.1. And it goes on and on, ladies and gentlemen. I want to get into the other news, but if you don't go and read this for yourself where it admits it can cause an autoimmune disorder, that it can sterilize you or reduce your fertility, can do both, that it can give you fatigue, asthma, facial edema. This is saying, it goes, ladies and gentlemen, this is like 50 pages long here. I, I can't read all this here on air. It just goes on and on and on, the nightmare 
that this can cause, okay? Now, when you see CNN and Fox and the New York Times, newspapers, TV, telling you it doesn't have mercury, telling you it's a conspiracy theory, and local radio was doing this to me this morning. I'm not even going to say their names and give them attention. They're saying I'm a liar. This is how America operates today. They think you're idiots. They think you're fools. They think it's cute to pull all this on everyone. Here's another report with links to the Denver News Channel, Associated Press, and the actual government and university studies. Headline, Doctors Concerned Flu Miss Vaccine Could Spread Live H1N1 Virus. Last hour, I had Dallas County Department of Health and Human Services Office of Public Information, Zachary Thomas, Director of the Health Department for Dallas County on, and he admitted that the nasal can breed the H1N1, can hurt you, can make you sick, and can really hurt people that are already sick. So this is all there. He also admitted that the regular flu shot they're starting to give, the, 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 the normal injectable H1N1 has all these serious effects that you should read it and that they have you sign a waiver form when you take it. There's no denial about this. Here's another one. Normal flu jabs double the risk of catching swine bug, the mail, newspaper. It's also in the Toronto Star. The findings from Canada led to some states in the country de delaying seasonal flu jab campaigns amid, amid fears the recipients could be more vulnerable to seasonal surge of the pandemic. Continuing here. It goes on and on and on. Reports confirming that there are a lot less cases of H1N1 compared to the regular seasonal flu at this time of year and that it's not that dangerous of a virus. And most people dying are dying from complications of diabetes, heart disease, cancer. The list goes on and on or extremely elderly. Meanwhile, President Obama doesn't care. He has declared his civil emergency so they can give an un tested, unproven, this is untested, they admit, experimental, highly dangerous H1N1 nasal and injectable flu vaccines. We're getting reports all over the country of school teachers, children, doctors, medical workers, uh, Dallas, uh, Washington Redskins cheerleader, said Dallas Cowboys for some reason, uh, getting paralyzed from it. And the doctors said to her, and we played the news clips here, that yes, the flu vaccine did this. And the Food and Drug Administration said, that's okay, that's an acceptable loss to have that. Here's a headline that breaks it all down. Deaths from swine flu vaccine reported in Europe. Now, all of that said, we need to take action on this situation. And we had an earlier caller who talked about how he went out with simple flyers. There's a lot of great sites that have the basic boil downs. Fluscam.com, Natural News, Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com. We have the basic fact sheets, the real fact sheets with links to government reports and their own admissions. Because they cover their butt. In the fine print, it says it can sterilize you, kill you, give you cancer, give you autoimmune diseases, kill you deader than a hammer, give you the flu, make you more than double susceptible to the regular flu. Or to H1N1. We just went over that. But to the public, they hand out in public schools fake sheets saying, oh, we're getting rid of the rumors. There's no mercury. It can't make you sick. We have a responsibility to stand up against this fraud and to speak out against this fraud and to say no to this fraud and to print up your own fact sheets off of documents you read and see or go get the other fact sheets that are out there and to put them on telephone poles, to go and give them to friends and family, to go and, and paper your entire neighborhood, go and put them on people's front door steps. That's your right under the First Amendment. Don't let anybody tell you you don't have that right. They've been running newscasts trying to demonize our listeners, putting up fact sheets about flu all over the country, especially up in Temple. They've had three news reports I've seen without even looking with TV attacking the folks that are putting these up. Carry a video camera. If you don't know how 
to put something up on YouTube. A 10-year-old child can figure it out now. It's very simple. Use YouTube. It's the biggest. It's the battleground. They have more video views every day than all of their video sites and file sharing combined. Video it. Upload police coming over saying, in America, you can't stand off the public school or city hall or sports stadium parking lot where they're doing the mass inoculations. When the police come over, say, my First Amendment right, officer, please don't violate my First Amendment. If they get in your face, I would recommend you go ahead and leave. You go upload it to YouTube. You email it to the police chief. You go a day later and file a complaint and file a lawsuit for them violating your First Amendment. If you don't leave, they will taser you, belly club you, and maybe even kill you. They're on power trips. They've been taught they're God. They've been taught there's no First Amendment.